Hey everyone, my name is Leo. My name is Kevin. And today we present to you guys Sussy. Right, so what is Sussy? Um, I wanna start with a story. Me, me and Kevin are both middle school graduates, right? And during middle school, we ran into a huge problem, which is how schools enforce technology policy. Right, so everyone has these thousand dollar computers, right, that the school spent a lot of money for, but how does the school enforce that you're doing the right thing on your computers? Right? Um, me and Kevin have a lot of experience. We've played Minecraft before during class. We've watched YouTube. We've even minimized YouTube into a corner to watch YouTube during class. But really, the problem here is how do teachers enforce this? Right? Currently, it's being enforced by blanket bans. Um, a, lot of a lot of schools opt out to just fully ban YouTube, no YouTube. Right? Could you imagine a, a world where you couldn't do research on YouTube? Right? And, and currently, the, the other problem is that uh, for teachers, it's also very difficult. Right? Teachers have to watch 20 screens at once you know, using current solutions, right? And that's a lot of work for the teacher. No one wants to look at, you know, 20 small screens. So this is why we designed um, SUSI. Right. Right. So, oh. Oh. so we can start with the teacher view, right? What does the teacher want? Um, well, we're first gonna say um, what the task is, right? So everyone in the class should be watching a YouTube video about Greek history, right? Second, uh, I'm gonna ask for some information. So I'm gonna say like, Oh, who needs um, the most help? Right, and uh, the response is gonna be, looks like both Kevin and Liam Chen need the most help, right? So I'm gonna say, um, please message Kevin. Tell him to focus up. And in the background, a little tool call is gonna happen, and the llama is actually gonna call a tool that sends the message to the student. Uh, we'll show you guys the student client later, but I really want to explain what's going on the, in the background. So how do we have all this information about all these students? Is on Kevin's computer, who's the student, um, he has an app running that period, periodically, every five seconds, sends a screenshot to Llama API. Right? Llama API will tell us you know, is, if Kevin is on task. Right? And what's really special, oh, not that. What's really special is that Llama knows uh, what task we're supposed to be doing, and given the screenshot, it can reason about whether or not the student is actually doing the task. Right? So it's not just a simple, oh, are they on YouTube? Are they on Word document? It's given the task, are they actually doing what's, what's wanted? And we'll show you guys the student view real quick. But um, basically, you, know, you can see um, the student. You can see their current activity. And you can also see their history. Right? So let's go into um, some of Kevin's history. So this is actually live right now. And we can see that in Kevin's history, um, he's actually been messing around with um, some of our code, right? We were pretty frantically um, finishing up some final things. And you can see that over here. So the student appears to be browsing a hackathon event page on Cerebral Valley, right? So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and because we have this history, um, we're able to query this history using Llama. And using the large, large context window, we can ask it questions like, hey, um, are, students, you know, are students busy at the start of class? Are they still, you know, by the end of class, are they still doing what they're supposed to? Right. Next, I'll pass it to Kevin to show you guys what it looks like from the student point of view. Not only did we make a client for the teacher, um, we made a student client, which looks like this app right here to your right. Um, and basically what it does is periodically, it will take a screenshot and it will detect the most active window that you're currently using. And it will send these um, to an API call to uh, Llama Scout, Llama 4 Scout which will um, run an evaluation. It'll give a score, it'll give a description of like, what the student is doing. And using this score, over time, it will update this thing we made called a focus score, which is um, basically how focused a student is over time. So as you can see um, from Leo's previous demonstration, his instruction was watch a YouTube video about Greek history. And currently, um, as you can see, it, it appears that my, my score is zero out of five because I'm indeed not watching a Greek history video. I'm on uh, cerebralvalley.ai. All right, However, team, we are at time. Oh. Thank you so much, Team Sussy. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Judges, do we have any questions? It sounds like the teacher would have to send a message. Have you guys thought about any sort of automatic corrective measures to be put in place? Yes, absolutely. So I was really hoping for an extra minute just to talk about this. I love that you just asked me that. So what's going on here is um, we have this really, really robust method of taking you know, 20, 20 or 30 different screens and then 
con condensing all that information down into first storing that information and then giving it to the teacher, um, either through chat or through display, right? But really the next step is to lift this task from the teacher. No teacher, you know, teachers are here to teach us new things, right? No one's here to be a jailer, to you know, prison you. And so the next step is automation. So we have this automations hub. Um, the goal is to make it custom so that teachers can you know, upload their own custom automations. But right now, it's kind of a matter of, hey, when the student moves from on task to off task, we're gonna send them a help message. So it looks like you might be stuck, do you need help? And the goal is to have this running in the background so the teacher can you know, do all the teaching and then um, Sussy can you know, run all the administrative things. So given your extensive uh, experience in middle school avoiding systems like this, how would you avoid a, a system like this as a student? Yeah, I think um, how I would avoid this is, so it runs every 10 seconds, so I would probably find out when it runs, and then after it runs, I would watch YouTube for nine seconds and then switch back. Yeah. But Love it. <laughs> I Ackerman. think the, uh, thank, yeah, you, thank, thank you, Sassy. Thank you, guys.